so awkward at intros. Goodness. Anyways. Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today and I hope that you guys are having an amazing and blessed day. So today I did this look that is focused around shimmery eyes and some flirty lashes. I didn't do anything dramatic today and honestly these kinds of looks are the ones I'm more comfortable with. I didn't do winged eyeliner today which is for me which is a good thing because I love winged eyeliner but I love that I got the similar effects with these little demi wispies that I cut at the edges. So hopefully you guys enjoy this look and thank you guys so much for watching again. So I'm going to start off with my Bliss Fabulous Lip Balm. And just so that I can have my lips nice and moisturized for when I come to putting lipstick on. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. primer and this is nice just to kind of smooth out the skin texture and this one works pretty well. So I'm using my Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation in the shade 80 Buff and make sure to shake that well. And I'm just going to be using the dropper that it comes with to apply this to my face. And this is a really nice foundation. It isn't drying at all and it's really, really light. I recommend this especially if you have dry skin, which I don't, but I find that it works well for my skin as well. And I'm going to just be blending this in with a sponge. Which, I don't know if it's the best idea because it's a really thin foundation, but honestly, I like the way that it works. I didn't want a very full coverage from the foundation. More so just to even out my skin tone and all that good stuff. And like I always say, don't forget to blend down to your neck, into your forehead, on the hairline. And yeah, just try to get that evenly all over the face. It doesn't cover up every single blemish or imperfection, but it does the job nicely enough for me. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. eye primer. I kind of did things backwards instead of the concealer first. I don't know why, but that's, what, that's just the way it came out, and I'm just going to roll with it. <laughs> so now I'm going to use my NYX concealer in the shade Glow again, and just do this in a V shape beneath my eyes to kind of highlight as well and once again I am blending this in with my Real Techniques deluxe brush just to help me out blend it in quicker on the edges then I'm gonna go in with my fingertip well my ring finger and just blend the rest of that in I feel like your fingers really help you to get that product blend it into your skin to another level than a brush could or a sponge. So now I'm going to be using my Age Rewind Concealer as well because I feel like I have some extra eye bags going on lately and I'm applying that onto any blemishes as well just to get a little bit of that extra coverage. And yeah, I'm just blending that in with my sponge and that's all I'm doing here. So now I'm going to be using my City Color Translucent Powder because as you can see this is my favorite powder to use and as you'll see throughout the video it does not crease beneath my eyes. And with my Fit Me Foundation Powder I am using this to kind of set my makeup although I know it's not a setting powder but I like the way that it looks and I feel like it kind of warms up the skin just a little more. Although the lights make my reflection appear more brighter. Um, the foundation actually matches me perfectly. If anything, it almost even looks darker at a certain point. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm just using the banana powder to set under my eyes for that extra brightness. And now in my chocolate bar palette, I'm going to go into the shade Marcy Pan, if that's how you pronounce it. And I'm going to just wash this all over my eye. I'm literally applying this all over my eye and then with a thinner brush into the tear duct area. I'm going for a more natural and glowy look on the eyes. 
So now going into the shade Champagne Truffle, I am going to really put this into the tear duct area to really highlight the inner corner. And I'm also going to use it to sh highlight the, the eyelid right in the center just to kind of make it pop out more. And now going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to just use a little bit of the China Rose shade in the palette and just use this to kind of get more of that orangey-ish color in the crease. And now with the shade Fresh, I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone. Going back into the Chocolate Pore palette, I'm going to be using the shade Creme Brulee, which is a goldish color to outline my lash line and for my brows I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Auburn and the Queen of the Phil Brow Gel by Elizabeth Mott in I believe medium brown just to keep my eyebrows in place and darken them up just a little bit more because the Auburn color is a little bit too Auburn so now I'm going to be coating my eyelashes with a few coats of mascara before I apply on my falsies. I am going to be applying the Ardell Demi Wispies, but I actually like to just cut those in half and just use the edge of them because I just feel like it's a lot more lightweight and I don't wear lashes on a daily basis, not even a weekly basis. <laughs> But when I do, I like these because they really give that cute look where it kind of makes your eyes flare out really naturally. And I'm coating my bottom lashes as well. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I seriously rave about this mascara. It doesn't transfer. And you can't go wrong with using this mascara. So now I'm using my bronzer by NYC in the shade Sunny, I believe. And this is a really good and affordable drugstore bronzer. And yeah, so I'm just using that on my Real Techniques bronzing brush, I believe. Or contour brush, I don't know. Some, one of those I'll see down below. And I'm just blending this in to my cheekbones and a bit into my temple and my jawline. I know it's fall time, but I'm still trying to get that overall bronzy look. I can't let it go and I mean I think it looks nice year round, who cares? <laughs> so yeah I'm just putting that all over and I'm going to go into my number 7 blush and I'm just blowing my husband a kiss there because he was just walking in. <laughs> so yeah just going to blend that into my cheeks a little bit onto my nose just to kind of give your face the even flush. And I love this blush, I'm using my e.l.f. Uh, golden bronzer in the shade golden and just using this as a highlighter for lips the first color I'm using is the wet n wild shade in sandstorm and then I'm gonna just keep applying <laughs> now I'm gonna use my melted lipstick in peony I believe and I'm just blending this in with a lip brush or detail brush from real techniques I was really trying to get a lighter color of lipstick and now I'm using my Tristique lipstick I'm not sure what the shade is called but I'll list it down below and I'm using this because as you can see I'm trying to really get a lighter shade and last but not least my Smashbox lip gloss which is like a light glossy pink and I'm just using this to top the look off and I'm just cleaning up the edges now and there you go, that's the final look. So this is the final look and I know you guys probably think I'm crazy because I use like five different lip products and every time I put a new one on I was thinking, oh my god, another color. But I mean, I just wanted to get that color that I wanted, that I had envisioned and I wasn't going to stop at one lipstick if that didn't get me it to the color I wanted, you know? <laughs> so I'm sure we're all guilty of putting on five lipsticks to get a color every now and then. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and if you liked this look, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you thought and anything that, you know, maybe we could talk about it. 
and I love reading your guys' comments and chatting with you guys. So thank you guys so much for your support and your lovely comments. They really mean a lot to me. And hopefully you guys have an amazing day. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video.